Solutions Diva, I'm Laura Mori, and today I'm going to show you how simple it is to bring the garden indoors by making yourself a terrarium for your home. Now, this is such a simple project, I love it. Um, keys are, you want to find a really cool plant that you are going to enjoy seeing in your home. I love this because of the pop of color. Next, you're going to want to make sure you have uh, a, a bowl or a container of some sort that's not going to leak because you're going to put a plant in here and you're going to be watering it. And I'm going to be displaying this on a table. So I've picked this very funky glass piece that I found at Home Goods. Uh, inside, I have placed black river rock. And I'm only choosing black because um, my soil is going to be black. I want my plant color to pop. So you can use any color, any kind of gravel that you want. You can even use fish tank gravel that comes in a variety of different colors, which is kind of cool if you want to coordinate colors. So you've got the gravel in there to create a space for the water to drain so your roots aren't sitting in water all the time. Next, you're going to put a little layer of charcoal. Now this is going to uh, make sure that it, the water in here, it doesn't get stinky. It'll help filter the air a little bit so your terrarium doesn't start to smell a little funky. Ugh. Next, you're going to put some of your um, soil in here. Now, if you're using a succulent, you want to make sure you're putting a succulent soil in the container. Uh, I am, I'm not doing succulents, I'm doing these lovely little plants here. So I don't need succulent soil. I am using um, moisture control potting soil. Now you're gonna fill up your pot and you're gonna make a hole big enough for your plant. And I've taken this out and you can see the little root systems are right there. I'm going to gently, sorry you can't see this, let me move that. Uh, I'm going to gently just loosen up the root area here so that they'll have room to grow. And then I am going to plant my beautiful little plant in here. I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to fill in the space with soil and I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. Well, here's my beautiful little terrarium featuring my little polka dot plant. Note here that the polka dot plant requires very little light, so uh, which is perfect for my home. So you want to make sure that you find the right kind of plant for the type of light that uh, is in your home. Uh, also, I have put in black river rocks on top of the soil as well to keep the soil in place. So there you have it, bring a little garden indoors. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next week on SimpleSolutionsDiva.com.